بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for joining with us and staying with us. Actually, during th these series of episodes, we are talking on the relationship between Quran and science. In the previous session, we discussed that the, uh, there are some secrets in Quran, but actually they are a way, it is not good to call them the secrets. Actually, they are the like underground uh, underground glaciers by discovering them we reach to the many deep sources in fact they are the sources throughout the history by the development of the science by the progress of the academic works we would be able to unveil these deep sources in fact, these sources are more developed than what we have today. Human being is still is suffering from lack of the uh, actually skills, lack of the instruments to reach to the depth of the Quran. Depth of the Quran is uh, as we have hadith from the pro, uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam, this Quran is silent. Make it speaking. Fastantegu. Make the Quran to speak to you. How we can make the Quran to speak to you? To us. Actually, it needs instrument, it needs skills. Through that skills, Quran will speak to us. During this 14 centuries, many interpreters of the Quran, many exegists of the Quran, tried to find its language in a way that Quran to speak to them. And you know that many books, many sources are written about the Quran and many teachings are derived from the underground sources of the Quran. Quran has many layers. So these actually, these are the sources, not the secrets. And by science, by the academic works, we can reach to the depth of that. So the Quran is some steps more earlier than the science. Quran is proclaiming some, some sources, some sayings before the scientists reach to that. Many scientists today say that, many scientists today say that Quran, what we reach today by these instruments, Quran already talked about. So we Muslim during the holy month of Ramadan, we have to think that how we can get these instruments. By that, we can go to the depth of the Quran and unveil the source from the Quran. There is no contradiction between science and Quran. Actually, Quran is more poignant, more earlier talking on science. Thank you for staying with us. Next episode, stay with us. I will talk on Quran, Quran and science. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.